Okay, so let's do an example using the first order integrated rate law. And taking a look at our problem, we see that we have a rate constant for a certain first order reaction is 0.518 seconds inverse, and that's at 500 Kelvin. So how long would it take for 85% of a 0.85 molar sample of reactant to react? Okay, so we need to figure out how to set this problem up. Okay, now we are given the fact that it is a first order reaction. Okay, so right away we should start thinking about the natural log of the concentration at some time t is equal to negative rate constant times time plus the natural log of the initial concentration. So this is the first order integrated rate law. And what we are looking for is how long, so we're looking for time, and we're given that we're waiting for 85% of this 0.85 molar sample, and it tells us it's the reactant, to react, okay? So it's not explicitly giving us the concentration at this time that we're looking for. But it does give us the concentration. We just have to do one extra little step. And then, of course, this 0.85 molar is A sub naught. So let's go ahead and fill in what we have so far. And so we have the natural log of the concentration of A at some time T that we still need to fill in. Let's go ahead and plug in our rate constant, 0.158 seconds inverse, times time. Let me clean this up just a little bit. And then we're going to add on natural log of 0 0.85 molar, because that is our initial concentration. Now. How do we get this concentration that we are looking for? So we're yet, we want the time it's going to take for 85% of it to go away. So that means that 15% of it is going to remain. So 85% reacts, 15% remains. And that's important because that's what we're going to put in for this concentration of A at some time. Now we're also going to turn it into a decimal, okay, so 0.15, that's the fraction of our original sample, 0 0.85 molar, that remains at this time that we're looking for. So we're going to multiply 0.15, so that's 15% of this 0.85 molar solution. And so A sub T, we just found out, is equal to 0 0.1275 molar. Okay? And so we were given this initial concentration explicitly, and then we were told that we're waiting for 85% of it to react, and that leaves 15% and if we want to figure out what fraction of 0.85 is 15%, we're going to multiply 0.15 times 0.85 to get 0.1275. So that is A sub T. So let's go ahead and put that in as well. So I'm going to fill in everything into our equation. So we have the natural log of 0 0.1275 is equal to negative 0.15 8 seconds inverse times time plus natural log of 0 0.85. Okay, so now we're ready to just put in a bunch of numbers. Okay, so remember, this natural log of 0.1275 is just a number. And when I put that into my calculator, then I get negative 2.0596, and we'll cut it off there. Okay, and we still have our rate constant, 0.158 seconds inverse, times time, which is what we're looking for, and 
We have another number. The natural log of 0.85 is, again, just a number. So I'll put that into my calculator, and I'm going to get negative 0.1625. And we'll cut it off there. Okay? So the important thing, watch your signs. Okay, so we have a negative number for natural log of a sub naught. So now let's go ahead and add 0 0.1625 to both sides. 0.1625. Okay, so negative 2.0596 plus 0.1625 is going to give us negative 1.8971 and we still have our rate constant negative 0.158 seconds inverse times time and this guy's gone okay so now let's divide 0 0.158 negative 0 0.0 158 and so that's going to get rid of our negative sign which is good okay so those cancel out we're going to divide 1.8971 divided by 0.158 and we end up with t equals 12.00 okay so what are the units on this guy all right, okay, so let's go back up to our rate constant. We see that it's in seconds, seconds inverse and for the rate constant. So our time, seconds, we also could have looked at it here, okay? And we have two sig figs in our original problem. So the 0.85 molar sets that because that's two sig figs. So our time is 12 seconds.